Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my October favorites and I am so excited to do this because I just feel like this past month I haven't really been able to just like sit down and like talk to you guys one on one even though this is a camera and I'm sitting here and you'll see it later. You know what I mean. I just feel like it's been nothing but like makeup tutorials for Halloween and like one after the other and I haven't been able to like actually just like sit here and say what's on my mind and say what I've been loving and vice versa and I haven't been able to like respond to comments as fast as I usually do. So I will definitely be getting to that very soon because I don't like not having a conversation and stuff. I don't know, I just feel like something about like this time of year is just so refreshing. As soon as Halloween's over, I'm ready for the holidays. I know I'm crazy, but I don't care. So let's just jump right into all of this crap. These are two concealer palettes from Makeup Forever. I got these when I was working at Sephora. I got it in grass. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Um, but I've been using these because I've been freelancing like a beep. I keep these in my kit because you can contour and highlight and do concealer and all that jazz with these. They're seriously the best. If you are ever going to freelance, you need to have something with a variety of colors and a variety of shades. I just have these because I got them for free. Um, I would definitely recommend something that's cheaper because I think it's like 30 bucks for something so small like this. Kryolan has like huge palettes. I don't know the quality of those, but if you can get something that you can get like a plethora of colors, totally get it. It's going to be the best investment for you because they saved me. I had a couple people that were like super, super tan. You know when you get a spray tan and it's like super super dark a little bit on the orangey side I didn't have a color that matched that and I just kind of like mixed these colors together and created the perfect concealer and contour and highlight shade so I highly recommend anything that's kind of like this so about a couple weeks ago I ran out of my urban decay weightless creaseless concealer and I had a little bit of this left this is the pro longwear concealer from Mac in the color NW 15 and so I was going to repurchase the urban decay one but I used this in the meantime and oh my gosh this stuff is awesome I don't know why I stopped using it I do really like how the urban Urban Decay concealer has that doe foot applicator but honestly no comparison this is still so much better I think I just got used to using that other one this one gives a fuller coverage and it just is better in my opinion and it's cheaper so this I will be going back to and I don't think I'm gonna repurchase the Urban Decay one unless uh, I don't know we'll see but this one I really do like a lot more and I'm so glad that I started using it again because it's freaking awesome. Like I said, I have been freelancing like crazy. So I have been doing a lot of brides and this has been like my go-to color. This is Afterglow Pigment from Makeup Geek and it is like a high shine champagne gold color. So beautiful. These are loose. So be careful when you're using it. I would totally buy one of the sifters to go inside of here. It's just like a plastic thing so that it's not just like loose when you take it out. Um, so just so beautiful. It's like I don't know 10 bucks for this highly recommend it it's so so gorgeous and yeah I like to spray this with fix plus to make it even more metallic but you honestly don't even need to it's just awesome and gorgeous speaking of brides and freelancing I got this lipstick from Sephora and I tried it on and I loved it and then I wore it a couple more times and I wasn't a fan and then I used it on a bunch of brides and I loved it and then I tried it on myself and that's actually what I have on today. So it's kind of like a love-hate kind of thing that I ended up loving eventually. <laughs> this is the Bobbi Brown Tool lipstick and it's like a meh. That is the color. It's just like a, it's a rose shade but it's a very, very warm undertone. So if you have tried the Edge to Edge lip liner from MAC that I rave about all the time, this is a very similar rose shade to that one, except the Edge to Edge is a cooler undertone. It's got more blue in it where this has more orange in it, but still very pretty on brides. I love mixing it with different lip liners to create like a different look and topping it with different glosses. But yes, I, I think I'm going to keep him and I like him and he's going to stay in my kit for now. Okay. He's going to stay in my kit for now because I think I'm going to use it more on brides than myself. So yeah. Another thing that I hated when I first got it and I like love it now is the, why is this crap all over it? 
um, is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the little baby travel size because the big size is like $40 or something like that. And I did not want to pay that much for a translucent powder. Um, but this is used to bake or cook your makeup. So after you've contoured and everything, you can take this on a sponge and just like dab it underneath your contour and it's going to emphasize your contour make the area bright and then if you leave it on there for like 10 minutes while you finish up your makeup and then you dust it away it's not going to go anywhere your contour is going to be strong that area is going to be nice and matte at the same time and the reason why i hated this at first is because i i'm used to having dry skin and i've said a couple of times that my skin is pretty normal now and i actually get a little oily throughout the day and i honestly don't mind it but when i put this on right away i feel super dry and it's really weird however once it sits on my face for about like an hour i feel like it just looks so good it just it looks like my makeup is super fresh so if you have oily skin or normal skin i say I, that I highly recommend this. If you're dry, I don't think you're gonna like this too much. Um, I honestly don't even like this for under the eye area. I've done the cooking and baking underneath my eyes and I feel like it just gets a little dry under there. So I just stick with my MAC Pro Emphasize powder for that. But I've really been loving this for like full coverage days where I'm going out or filming a video or something like that. Definitely not something for every day, but you could even use this as like a whole setting powder whatever you feel I find that all the other products that I put on top of it last and just go on very smoothly so yeah so in my last favorites video I was going to go on and on and on about perfume and I actually showed a perfume in the picture but then I ended up just like not even including the whole perfume part into the video because it was basically me rambling on for like 15 minutes about the perfumes that I like and how I need to find a new one and blah 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 well, I found a new one, so that's why I didn't even include that in the video. This is something that I got when I was in New York at the Henry Bendel store. I know, I was so excited. Um, this is the Henry Bendel Sweet 712 or 712 perfume, and it smells so good. It is, what is, 3.4 ounces. I don't even know how to explain what this smells like. It's just, I... I love deeper scents, like musky scents that are just like really warm smelling. My like go-to fragrance is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. And my boyfriend of six and a half years tells me that he doesn't like my perfume. <laughs> and I've been wearing it for like the whole time we've been dating. So it's kind of weird. Um, so that's why I've been trying to find something that I like. And he likes stuff that's a little bit more fresh. So this is like the perfect perfect balance because it kind of smells floral but it's also got that like womanly musky kind of scent that's just like warmer and deeper I don't even know look it up it's freaking amazing I don't even know if it's limited edition limited edition or not but um yeah it's like my new favorite the only thing is that I feel like it doesn't last as long as my Coco Mademoiselle one that's kind of a bummer but it's oh, it's so good. I feel like if if they're gonna discontinue it, I'm gonna go and get like two more bottles because I don't wanna run out of it. Another thing that I got when I was at Henry Bendel in New York was this bracelet here. This is actually Henry Bendel too, but oh, let me take this off. So on the second level of Henry Bendel, they had a whole like sale section of everything that was like 50% off. So I was like, see you later, I'm going up there. So. Uh, I saw this like laying down and I was like, okay, how does that work? Like, do I just like put it on like this and then that hangs? That looks really stupid. So I had to ask because I'm like, all right, this is super cute. And it ended up being half the price that it originally was. And I was like, okay, this is, how does this work? Um, so if I use my lady brain, then I would know that this comes up like this and it just looks like a double cuffed bracelet, if that makes any sense. And it's so cute. So I got it in rose gold because I want, I actually don't have like anything that's rose gold and I really like mixing the metals. Oh, come on. Would you get back on here? Meh. I actually don't own anything that's rose gold. So I wanted to kind of like, I don't know, get something that was. And so right now I have it on with like a gold bracelet and I have gold earrings on. So I don't know. I just really like the way it looks. It looks like you have on two bracelets, but you only have on one um, 
So yeah, I was really excited about it. Another random thing that I have been just so obsessed with this month is this shirt that I'm wearing. This is a like flannel shirt from Topshop, but I got it at Nordstrom. And it's just like a button up. I hope you can see it on camera, but I wore this to Gen Beauty and I've just been wearing it constantly this month. And I like it because in the front it's shorter and then in the back it's longer, so it covers up my butt and I can wear it with leggings. <sighs> I love this thing it's so comfortable it's loose and I want to go and get more but I don't know if they have more colors but mine is like blue black and red so I've been loving this shirt and by the way everything that I'm talking about will be linked down below in case you're interested to where you can find it just check it out whatever you want to do all of it will be linked down below as usual and then last but not least I have to talk about these I just ordered a Z palette so it should be in, like coming to my house pretty soon because I don't have any space for it um, a lot of you guys have been asking for like an updated makeup collection video and to be honest, I don't even have like that whole thing situated. I've got a pile of stuff sitting over here that I need to go through and organize and put away, but I don't have anywhere to put it. I took the whole top row of my dresser and just filled it with makeup, but now my clothes don't have any anywhere to go and I know that's kind of like a crazy like first world problem thing. I'm not actually like upset about it or anything, but I'm just telling you I have nothing to show you. It's not organized at all. So I'm going to set aside some money so that I can get that Ikea thing so I can start putting my makeup in. So it's my goal of mine at the end of the month to have a makeup collection tour. <sighs> But remind me and keep me motivated to get that stupid freaking thing because it's so like I don't want to spend $150 on a storage device you know what I mean anyways makeup geek sent me the matte eyeshadows that she just came out with and oh my gosh I was so excited because matte eyeshadows are my absolute favorite what as I'm wearing like glitter all over my eyelids today but mattes are seriously my favorite and these are my favorite ones out of the ones that they sent me and out of the collection I have da, 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 da. this is curfew it's like a deep plummy purple and then sorbet it's just like a light pinky peachy kind of color um we have bedrock it's like a really like cool gray color and then um what is this called confection this is a lot like sor sorbet it's like a nudie pink color and then we've got Concrete Jungle. It's like another dark matte gray. And then this one, which I have out of the packaging, this is Morocco. It's like a bright orange, kind of like a deep orange. It reminds me of Rule from MAC. Um, but I don't have any Z palettes to put these in, so they're all like whenever I use them, I put them back in here. Oh my gosh, another one that I love is Americano, except I have that in one of my palettes, I think. I squeezed it in there. That's another one that I've been loving. It's like a deep, rich chocolate, like coffee co color loving these. I'm a sucker for matte eyeshadows. I think that everybody looks good in them. I think I just I love matte eyeshadows and I'm so happy that she came out with new ones. So yeah, I've been absolutely loving these and I can't wait to get that Z palette so I can put them in. <laughs> I feel like that just goes hand in hand with, with uh, storage. So um, I've been getting a lot of requests for like my top favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadows um, and you guys know I am an affiliate with them so just let me know how you would feel about that video because I don't want to come across as like I'm just trying to like push a product on you because I genuinely really love these eyeshadows and it has been a request so let me know down below how you feel about that and if that's something that you want to see because I'd be more than happy to share that with you guys but um I understand where some people are coming from and all that kind of stuff so yeah just let me know what you think about that down below but yeah that completes everything for my October favorites I am so excited for November you have no idea today I'm going and I'm getting my gym membership I'm gonna get my butt in shape and I'm just like planning like holiday videos now because as soon as Halloween is over I am just Christmas Thanksgiving all that kind of stuff so I'm so excited so thank you guys so much for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel I really hope that you guys are just as excited as I am for all the new stuff that's going on thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to check out the info box for product links discount codes any extra information that I have will be down below so yeah, let me know all of your requests down below in the comment section because I'm planning out my schedule. Let me know makeup requests, other kind of stuff. Just let me know. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Ooh, my hip. Oh, oh. Why do I sit Indian style all the time? My hip. My hip.